Yan na. We're live. All right. Okay, so live na tayo. Just to sa wife ko nag-iisa, <laughs> viewer. Yeah. Okay. Ah, waiting, 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 waiting. So, kumusta naman kayo, guys? <laughs> Tayo muna magkamusta. Kamusta naman ang inyong Saturday? May bago ba? Wala. Wala sa tulog. Tulog lang. <laughs> Share natin sa mga page. Sino pa na? Okay na? Three, three viewers. Yes. Okay, so we're live. Three viewers na. <laughs> Ako yata yung isang viewer. <laughs> Sino yung isa pa? Hindi yan. Oh, apat na. Ito, si-share ko na. Dadami na ako. <laughs> tayo, tayo din. Sino yung may apat na phone dyan na nag-on? <laughs> Nag-ano lang pala yun. Bumili na marami. Yes. Kamusta naman mga workout? May nag-workout ba? <laughs> nag- nag-workout oh, pa rin. Nakatapos ko lang mag-workout. <laughs> Ako rin. Paling-ling nyo lang pa rin. Sikap. Paling-sikap lang naman. Ikaw, Coach Linus. May time pa ba? <laughs> may time pa naman. Kaso, ano, namimiss ko rin talaga yung gym. <laughs> Totoo ako din. Namimiss ko rin talaga yung gym. <laughs> Hi, Nobu. Lalo na kung ano ka, lover ng bench day. Wala akong bench eh, may bar at saka plates lang ako. Uh, <laughs> Walang bench, no bench day. Weighted push-up day na lang. Weighted push-up na lang. Lalo tayo eh, just adjust. Uy, may light na tayo and my heart. Thank you guys sa mga nag-like and nag-heart sa amin. Don't hesitate to post comments. Antay mo tayo na viewers. Hindi na, dumadami na tayo. Okay, people are coming in. 14 viewers na. Sa mga bagong natin, what's up guys? Kamusta ang inyong Saturday? Kung mayroon kayong uh, gustong i-shout pa shoutout sa amin, you can just type it down there sa comment box. And syempre, i-honor natin ang presence ng mga tao sa mga shoutout. <laughs> yeah, syempre. Oh, 20 viewers na tayo. Ah, tama ba? Yes, 22 na. Dumad- dumadami tayo guys. Ayan na. Let's just wait for a couple more minutes for everybody to come in. And then, mag-start na tayo with our fitness palakayan. Ano nga bang ating topic for today? Pinakakaalala ba? <laughs> Pero siyempre, bago natin, bago natin simulan yung topic ngayon today, maya-maya, kamusta yun natin, or i-remind natin sila, parang small recap lang, no? so, so yung sabi ni Coach Hannah, small recap lang of what we talked about last week, para medyo mamarefresh pa rin sila sa mga natutunan nila last week. Yes. Oh, Richard Enrique said, spot reduction. Spot reduction, that's right. Spot Richard on, di ba? <laughs> alam mo ba ang ibig sabihin ng spot reduction? Ayan, kung di nyo alam, malalaman nyo na ngayon kung what it means sa spot reduction na yan. Ano ba? Is it a myth or is it a truth? We will know later. Shout out pala sa student, eh, student ko ba? Hindi, student sa school 
na hindi ko siya student kasi higher, <laughs> ang gulo, no? Higher grade level siya. Okay, so interested din siya sa sports science. So, hi, Karil. Okay, hi. Hello. Ay, matutunan ka sa amin ngayon. Ma-inspire ka pa. Diba? That's right. So, okay. for, for na love daw. Love. <laughs> Oh, wala, wala nagpapahay. Ayaw niya ng shoutout, guys. <laughs> Ayaw nila. Sino nila matuto? <laughs> Ayaw nila magpa-shoutout. Direct talaga. Yan ang gusto namin. Goal-oriented yung listeners. Thank you. Mismo yan. Mismo. Gusto na tayo sa facts, no? <laughs> okay. So, we're just waiting for other people to come in. So, uh, pero pa tayo mga 10 minutes siguro. 10 minutes would yep. be enough na. Yeah. Sige. Okay, so by the way, guys, si Coach Hana inaayos niya lang yung connection niya and she'll join us soon. Okay, 25. And if you have questions, guys, while we're waiting, kahit non-related siya, not related sa spot production, sige lang, go shoot lang. We'll try our best to answer it with science-based evidence na may halong fun and kalukuhan. <laughs> baka, yung, baka yung iba yung nagustuhan. Puro fun and kalukuhan. <laughs> Puro kalukuhan eh. No? Parang last time, guys, sa mga hindi umabot sa dulo, I know yung iba dyan, nag, nag-leave uh, na. May tanong, galing from our professor. Alin daw ang pag-sharap? <laughs> protein plus carbs or protein plus fat? Di ba? Yan. Yeah. The debate. Maganda nga yung mga ganong question, di ba? Maganda nga. Medyo related pa rin sa diet, pero yun, nakakatawa. <laughs> oh, in a fun way, yan. Okay. And don't be scared, guys, na magtanong. Uh, hindi naman kami super science-y. Diba? Uh, first episode, may love advice pa. Gusto <laughs> 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 yan. <laughs> Ikaw, Coach Linus, meron ka bang love advice yan? Fitness love advice. Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko alam. Mas madali ang fitness kaysa sa Baka siguro yun yung magandang tanong, guys. Kayo ba? Alin na mas mahirap? Fitness o love? Kung nag-down ba? Hi, Brady. Uh, Coach Brady, hi. Hello, Brady. Okay. Thank you, guys. So, tingin nyo, is it more important to be healthy ngayong ECQ, GCQ? Uh, nowadays compared to before? Uh, malamang. For me, siyempre. Dahil siyempre, if you have weak resistance, mas, mas madali kang lapitin ng virus. Umaga, you're an easy target. So, mm-hmm. it's really important for me. Lalo na to work out. You need to boost your immune system talaga. If you wanna be safer in a way. <laughs> Kaya sa hindi at all. How about you, Coach Linus? Oh, oh, siyempre. Same din kay Coach Anzo. <laughs> uh, it's a good, I know, to build up yung immune system natin. Yep, that's right. Um, and ang hirap din kasi, guys, no, if ever nagkasakit ka and you have to go to yung hospital, exposure oh, din. Yung... Mm-hmm. Yep, that's so, right. Oh, si Bretty nag-comment. Mas mahirap daw ang love. Doon daw tayo <laughs> Sa fitness na lang daw tayo. Sa fitness na lang tayo mag-focus, diba? Wag na muna yung mga love-love na yan. May oras yan. <laughs> Meron kayang ganun, no? Can you give me a program para mas gumaling sa love? <laughs> Meron ba na? Periodize love program. <laughs> ano yan? Ano kayo? Just para mga exercise may sign. <laughs> 
may science na ano pala no? may science research pa alam alam mo na ba ba guys meron kami next episode mga yari jan ano uh, love advice science based love advice science based love advice <laughs> Love advice yan, di ba? Hormone na yun. Anong hormones daw yung nagpaproduce nun para kinigin ang isang tao? Ba? <laughs> <laughs> Bakit lang kuminom ng hormones na yun para kinigin? <laughs> di ba? Pwede, pwede yan. So anyway guys, sa mga bagay na ikinig, naglolokohan lang kami. Uh, we're just waiting for other people to come in dun sa live namin. So siguro seven more minutes, six more minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And shout out kay Sir Wisdom again. He's watching Boy, again. Sir Wisdom. Ano naman tayong... Ha? Congratulations, Sir Wisdom. Meron siyang ano, bagong article na pinoblish, guys. Yes. If you're interested to know more about it, no? Mm. Kailangan ba sa akin na... Sige, Abstract sige, pwede. Pa, 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 eh. Hi, Miss Karen. Oh, ito yung comment ni Miss Karen. Pati ba naman kayo, magwala ko na din. <laughs> o, hindi naman. Pero magandang gabi, uh, Karen. Uh, thank you so much for uh, being here. Feel free to ask questions. Huwag lang love advice naman. <laughs> Next time na yun. <laughs> Nako. Baka, baka mamaya mapunta talaga tayo dyan sa topic na yan. Kaya yan. Training, training for love. May ganun kaya, ano? Diet for love. Diet for love na. Uh, carbs versus fat. Which one would, ano, help you love more? Or be loved more? Or be loved more? <laughs> Spot reduction ng sakit pag iniwan. Di ba pwede mga ganun? <laughs> Ayan, Richard Enrique, may question siya. I heard before Andrew mentioned on one of his live streaming that to jump start with exercise first before focusing more on a diet, which is hard. To jump which is, start with exercise. Uh, bitin, bitin pa yung comment ni... Bitin, Uh, let's wait for your continuation. I think maganda yung question niya. Hintayin lang natin if. Maybe the question is how to jump start it. Sige, we could talk about that one. Parang ganun siguro yung question. Kasi siguro it boils down again to motivation, no? Kung ano ba yung what motivates you to jump start that kind of ano feeling. Ako kasi, to be honest, ano eh. Number one, syempre, it's your mindset. Kung, mag, kung mataas naman yung mental power mo to convince yourself that you need to work out, then siguro hindi ka mahihirapan, di ba? Lalo na if you're really into working out and you like working out, madali na yun. Kaya siguro the problem is, what if ikaw yung person na hindi ka pa talaga ganun ka into it sa pag-workout mo? How do you jump start? So kung na Coach Linus or Coach John, how do you jump start a specific workout? Siguro yun sa akin, dun sa question ni Sir Richard. Parang sabi niya kasi, jump start with exercise first before focusing more on diet. Ah... Ito kay ano kay Sir kay Prof Wisdom ko to naalala eh and dinala ko rin sa pagko-coach ng gym na yung diet and exercise pag pagsabay mo siyang ginawa or sabay mo siyang pinofocus ay like, parang I think na mention mo kay Sir Richard na focus on exercise first kasi mahirap na pa rin yung dalawa so like pag sinabay mo siya agad-agad lalo na for beginners or yeah, yeah starting up and then magaano sila mga uh, sabay nilang gagawin so nasa calorie deficit sila gutom sila and then uh, mapapagod sila sa pag-exercise sa pag-workout may experience sila yung dogs mga no? ganyan so mm-hmm. if focus ka muna sa exercise and then i-build mo yung uh, routine mo yung discipline mo na gagawin mo siya palagi and then maybe yung habit and then saka mo saka may pasok yung uh, nutrition or diet side 
para ano. So it, at, at it's a good ano, yung good jump start to working out or exercising. Yeah. Sa akin naman, uh, same din. Magkaklase kami ni Coach Linus dyan. Kaya <laughs> hindi <laughs> <laughs> kami nang sabihin. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, nanunod pala si sir. Thank you, sir, sa advice. Pero sa akin nga kasi, uh, may hirap din pagsabay. Kasi syempre, both will require something from from you. Usually, discipline yan, di ba? Motivation yan. So kung sabay yan, baka mahirapan if you're a beginner. And for me, siguro it depends on the person then. Uh, when it comes, it, it, are they more inclined into dieting or are they more inclined to moving around? Diba? Pero sa akin kasi, for me, it's easier to start with exercise. Kasi, uh, paano ba? For example, in, sa dieting. If you're living with uh, a friend or a family member or you're living with your family, if they're not dieting, then you have to prep your own meal. And alam mo naman yung temptation, di ba? Kumakain sila ng lechon manok, tapos ikaw, <laughs> ba, may sarili kang prep. May hirap din yun, di ba? Unlike uh, exercise, na you can insert it na parang 15 minutes lang for today. That's okay, di ba? At least you're building up this habit. Lagi ko nga sinasabi even in, the, in my Instagram na parang, Yung small things will build up to a bigger thing eventually, di ba? Through consistency and ano. Just like yung sinasabi nga natin, consistency is key. Okay. Yeah. So, we could start now. Uh, we'll wait for yeah. Coach Hatton eventually. So 8.15 na din. So let's start with our topic. So guys, ano ba topic okay. natin today? Topic natin ngayon is what is spot reduction? So ano nga bang spot reduction? Is it a myth? Ito ba ay haka lang or meron bang actual facts that support spot reduction? Pero siyempre, para mas maigidihan ng viewers natin no, in a very simple way, what is spot reduction? Ano ba ibig sabihin nito guys? Sige, who wants to start it? What is spot reduction? Definition. Hi! 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 Welcome back! <laughs> okay, so let's start Hi. with... Reduction, sino gusto mag-define? Siguro ako. Oh, sige, Coach Hana, go. You can start. Ay, okay, sige. At start ka na lang siya muna. So, yung spot reduction, or yung tawag din sa hanya is uh, selective exercise. So, ito yung paniniwala ng mga coaches or ng mga tao na once sinaasan mo yung muscle activity dun sa particular body part, mas ma-facilitate mo yung paggamit ng fat dun sa particular body part na yun. So, for example, pag uh, core ako ng core, eventually, papayat yung core ko kasi sa uh, yung dami ng ginagawa ng repetition ko na exercise, ang paniniwala is papayat siya dun sa part na yun, kung ano yung in workout mo. So, naniniwala sila dito na usually pag sa spot reduction yung paniniwala or yung recommendations, um, large numbers of, for example, pag sa, uh, sa abs nga, large numbers of sit-ups, tapos dadagdagan ng uh, kunwari, leg lifts, tapos maglalagay ka ng side bends, para daw mawala yung excessive na fat on that area. So, yun. Yes. So, i-add ko na lang din yun na para mas maintindihan din natin. Ito yung, kung nabasa mo yung, yung caption namin or yung poster na ginawa na, napakagaling ni Coach Hana for doing the poster. Yeah. So, karamihan sa atin, di ba, tinatanong natin. Thank you. Na, Coach, para ba lumiit yung chan ko, ilang, gano'ng kadami bang ab work at yung kailangan kong gawin? Or kung nga, specifically sa arms, gusto mo maging stone or lumiit yung arms mo, pero ayaw mo lumiit yung ibang. Tatanungin mo, Coach, Anong kailangan arm workout or ilang kailangan arm workout ba yung kailangan kong gawin para lumiit itong arms ko? So kung yun yung mga questions nyo, yan ay directly linked to spot reduction. Okay. Siguro ano din, uh, parang common question ito usually ng clients, di ba? Sabihin nila, uh, what if females, sabihin nila, ah, uh, me- medyo may, may thickness na ako sa hips and glutes. Gusto ko, kan ko lang papayat. Gusto ko, arms ko lang kasi uh, uh, may part. Parang meron notion na 
pwede isang part lang. Okay? Mm. Or, or yun ka, I've seen or I've heard clients na sinasabi nila, chicks daw nila. Uh, <laughs> exercise ba para sa chicks? Maybe. Bumuya, bumuya ka lang. Yung <laughs> ganyan. Diba? Okay. Uh, so, so how do we start in this discussion uh, when it comes to spot reduction? Siguro, uh, laba, ano ba to? Voting ba? Is there spot reduction ba talaga? Or is it a myth lang talaga? Hmm. Yun yung question natin talaga eh. That captures the whole topic eh. No? Hmm. Hope okay. tayo? Okay. Ano Saka ba? madami kasi parang nakikita, marami tayong nakikita parang online. Do this exercise. Fat burner. Oh. Yeah, um, it's a good thing. 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 It's a good Listeners or viewers out there na na-experience yan, don't hesitate to share sa comments, di ba? Yeah. If na-try mo ba, did it work? Hindi ba? Di ba? And then maybe after the discussion. Again, walang, walang hate dito. Walang hate dito sa aming FB Live, di ba? We learn from each other. So maybe you could learn from us or maybe we could learn from you. Uh, okay. So anyway, kayo guys, uh, ano ba na-research natin regarding this one? Para na takot lahat ah. Medyo ayaw na ayaw na eh no. Sa science part. Para okay guys, magsi-share lang pala ako. Bye. Meron ba si siguro ako ay start. Sige, good job. Parang widely accepted naman to. Okay, so I've searched the NSC, NSCA na, na recommendation. Okay, and then other, other recommendations then from yung mga nagbibigay na recommendations abroad. Okay, so parang sinabi, spot reduction doesn't work now. The human body does not pull fat from specific areas of the body when exercising musculature of that specific area. Ang binigyan nila example would be same dun sa coach kay Coach Hana. 10,000 crunches would not remove yung belly fat daw. Para yun yung sinasabi. Okay, for the recommendation. And uh, I've read up on this one, marami din science articles regarding this one na wala talagang spot reduction. So is it a myth ba? Maybe we could continue with the discussion and we'll know. Okay, kayo guys, can you add up on this one? Do you have research regarding this? I personally say it then. I'll go, sige. Yung ikot tayo sa mga lumang research eh, yung si Kaj and yung mga kasama niya. So effects ng sit-up, exercise on training with the adipose cell science and yung adipose cell so, ang ginawa nila, 27 days na sit-up exercise uh, training program. So, parang uh, inaabot per uh, participant nung uh, dito sa research na to is inaabot sila a total of ano, 5,004 sit-ups. Tapos, uh, nung chinect nila yung uh, size, sabi naman is uh, the conventional sit-up exercise does not preferentially reduce yung adipose cell size or yung subcutaneous fat thickness dun sa abdominal region. We're in, syempre, pag sit-ups, abdominal region yung ano natin, to a greater extent. So, yun, yun yung ano lang isang, isa sa mga luma or I think unang search web pagdating dito sa targeted mm-hmm. fat loss. Okay. Yes. Anyone would like to add? Meron din akong study na Yes, yung study na binanggit ni Linus had plus similar dun sa study na nakita ko. So, 27 days, sit-ups, exercise din. Tapos, um, minessure nila yung abdominal, um, subscapular, saka yung puwet, yung, yung fat. So, nag-biopsy sila nung fat specimen dun para malaman yung um, fat percentage. And then, ang ginawa nilang intervention, um, sit 
sit-ups every day. So, for the first week, 140 sit-ups yung natapos nila. Until sa last week, 336 sit-ups yung natapos nila for the entire week. Dami, no? <laughs> Dami nga. Ayan. Tapos, at the end of the study... <laughs> Dami. Ayan. At the end of the study, yung abdominal region... Um, hindi siya nakitaan na mas maliit compared dun sa hindi na-exercise na region gaya nung sa subscapular nga around this area sa yung sa fat content nung buttocks or nung ating pwet. So, yun naman yung nakita kong study. So, th- this one study siya, it's a short-term na study. But then, meron din ako nakita ng study naman na long-term. Okay lang ba? I-share ko na? Sige lang. Tuloy ko na? Yes, tuloy na. Pucha na. Okay. So, ito naman, um, research siya, uh, in-examine nila yung mga high caliber na tennis players. So, di ba pag you're playing tennis, usually may dominant arm ka yung playing arm mo. So, they're playing for how many years? Tapos, ang ginawa is measure yung girth, yung lapad ng dominant arm compared doon sa non-dominant arm. And, syempre, yung result mas malaki yung dominant arm. So, syempre, ang sa spot reduction, di ba, parang sinasabi, pag yun yung lagi mong ginagamit in exercise, niliit. But ang nangyari sa tennis players, mas lumaki yung dominant arm and playing arm nila. So, but kaya nangyari to? According to sa study, syempre, nagkaroon sila ng mas muscular um, hypertrophy. So, hypertrophy is yung paglaki ng size ng uh, muscle tissues natin. Nangyayari siya pag ina-exercise natin yung muscle. So, kaya for these high caliber na um, tennis players na years na years ginagamit yung dominant arm, yung playing arm for playing tennis, lumaki talaga yung arm nila. But then, measure yung subcutaneous fat and nakita na walang pinagkaiba yung fat. Subcutaneous fat is yung taba sa ilalim ng skin. So, nakita na same lang yung fat ng playing arm compared dun sa non-dominant arm. So, this one naman, uh, ito is a long-term study naman. So, makikita natin dun sa both, study, both studies lang na nakita ko, yung short-term sa long-term, parang hindi masyadong nag effect yung spot reduction. Yes. Siguro okay. ako kayo may add on this one din, no? Uh, wala ko kayo sa lolo ko. Medyo clown. <laughs> <laughs> Medyo clown. <laughs> pero, pero guys, ah, uh, na, nabasa ko din yung study nung kay Catch et al. Kasi I've read up on yun nga. Sabi nga ni Coach Linus, deep, in a way, ito yung nagsimula ng lahat ng ito eh. Na, na sinasabi natin. Mm. And I read on a similar study kay Coach Hana. This is on 10 to 12 year old uh, tennis players naman. So it's interesting kasi in a way, humanap sila na close to identical na counterpart. So, parang ang ginawa nila dito would be uh, kumuha sila ng young tennis players, seven tennis players, and then nagpuling sila ng seven inactive na, ten, na, na children. Tapos minatch nila yung medyo identical in terms of uh, weight, height, etc. and metrics dun sa, sa tennis players. And syempre, doon na tayo sa results. Gusto natin yung results lagi. Ang sabi dito, pare-parehas sila. Uh, not pare-parehas. But uh, nag-start sila with tennis training. Tapos na nakita sa kong conclusion dito. Eh. Yung mga tennis players na nag-train, syempre, they lost fat na. Okay? But ang weird dito, ang iniisip natin, they would lose a lot of yung fat mass sa arms. Siyempre, tennis, di ba? You're hitting with your arms. You're doing a lot of arm work. Or maybe sa legs. Kasi you're running. Pero they lost most of the fat sa abdominal area. So, dun pa lang, parang weird na si spot reduction. Kasi you're using your arms more and you're losing the abdominal area. So, what they also did was, they also measured the fat mass. I think this was using MRI, okay? So, in MRI yung arm. And napansin nila that there's no difference with the dominant hand 
in the non-dominant arm. So parang walang difference sa fat mass. So in a way, tama yun, mas malaki nga yung arm nila kasi they're using yung more muscle, they're developing their arms than the dominant arm. Pero in terms of fat, same pa rin. The fat mass takes the same. Which dapat sa dominant, since mas maraming activity, mas mapayat or mas walang fat. Uh, mas walang fat yung arm. Okay. So, meron pa ba tayong ma-add dito in terms of sa studies? Okay, ah, meron pa pala ako. Isa pang study. Okay, medyo similar naman sa sit-ups. But this one would be leg presses. Okay, leg presses naman siya. So, ang ginawa nila, okay, so this one is 7 men and 4 women. 12 weeks, 3 sessions per week. Tapos they did, ito medyo marami-rami din to. One set of 960 to 1,200 repetitions. <laughs> Mahirap sumali sa study na ito. Ang dami. Okay. Diba? Pero um, ang nakita nila dito, ang results nila was, meron decrease in fat mass. Okay? So nag-reduce sila ng fat mass. However, however, syempre may however oh. tayo, pa-suspense tayo dyan. Sabi, in conclusion, the training program was effective in reducing fat mass. But yung reduction is not mm -hmm. solely on the leg and on the control leg. Kasi yung different, wala. And an interesting thing here is, they lost fat mass in the upper extremities and trunk as well. Hindi lang dun sa leg. And walang difference on the exercise, which is the dominant leg, and then the non-exercise leg. Wala daw difference in the, kung alin na mas malaking fat mass. So, maybe, ito na yung sinasaka natin na, is it a myth? So, most likely, parang myth siya, di ba? So, kayo guys, maybe anecdotal. Do you have anecdotal experience? No, walang kayo ng fat sa daliri? Naka, <laughs> games, di ba? <laughs> oh, since tama nga yun eh, di ba? Kung isipin mo nga naman, most of us are texting or typing. Kung meron nga such thing as spot reduction, dapat siguro ang papayat na nung fingers natin dahil lagi natin siya ginagamit. Diba? Para sa mga peta dapat siya walang fat at all. Diba? Ito siguro yung pa lang yung isang study. Ang ganda na ito. Pero ang mahirap pag nagsashare tayo, hindi ko alam kung nabubutcher ka yung pangalan ng mga kasi so, ang title niya, uh, The Effect of Abdominal Fat. <laughs> ang hirap din kasi. Oh, kasi on abdominal fat, si, ang ano niya is Vespute or Vespute, hindi yung mga kasama niya. So, ang maganda dito, kasi meron siyang 24 <laughs> sedentary na participants, 14 doon lalaki, and then 10 uh, women. Tapos ang ginawa niya, gumawa siya ng control group. And then, isang group na gagawa naman ng abdominal exercise or ang, ang tawag niya is abdominal exercise group. So, yung isa as is lang, uh, wala silang training yung control group. Tapos, same lang sila ng uh, caloric diet ng nasa, uh, nasa abdominal exercise group. Tapos, uh, ginagawa nila two sets of 10 reps ng uh, mga up exercises for five days uh, in a week ng six weeks. Tapos nang natapos yung ano, uh, tinignan nila yung uh, body weight, body fat percentage, uh, gamit skin fold. Tapos wala silang nakita na uh, significant uh, difference din dun sa group na gumawa ng exercise versus dun sa control group pa na uh, assist lang for, ano, for six weeks. So ang maganda kasi malaki naman din yung number ng participants dito sa study na to. So ayun. Ay, ito ang ano nila, ang mas, na, ang mas na observe pa nila pala is yung, yung abdominal exercise group or yung gumagawa ng abdominal exercises. Ang napansin nila is yung improved muscular endurance na malayo dun sa control group lang na walang ginagawang exercise. So, yun yung mas napansin nila. So, kayo guys, uh, siguro ano, anecdotal naman, have you tried this one? Before entering sa CHK, before knowing all of this, have you tried ba? So for our listeners and viewers, don't hesitate then to comment if you have tried spot reduction before. And ako, I would admit, in the yesteryears, 
<laughs> nung kabataan ko, nung kabataan ko, guys, wala nang banggitan ng edad dito, but so nung bata-bata ako, when I started yung fitness journey, <laughs> typical, di ba? We would do a lot of sit-ups. Kasi ang thinking natin, malaki, malaki yung chan to eh. I want to do sit-ups mm-hmm. para. Right. And mm-hmm. sa totoo na pa lang ako kakasit-ups eh. Hindi ko napalit yung chan ko noon. So, kasi there are other factors at play din uh, na hindi ko din naman. Diba? And yun nga din na pangalit ko na even though I'm losing weight, hindi lang naman sa abdominal area yung pumapayat. Pumayat din naman yung muka, pumayat din yung legs ko, yung arms ko, pumapayat din. So, hindi solely sa abdominal area na nawala. So, this is anecdotal lang, guys. Kayo, guys, do you have something to share na Siguro ano, may experience din ako na ganyan. Sige, sa akin, punta sa mga. Sige, go. Ay, sige, sige. Na, so, yun nga, na, hey. kasi nga, if you're a beginner, most likely, yun ang, yun ang thinking natin eh. If you keep on working out, the same muscle group, magpapayad siya eh. So, tinay ko din siya, yung, siyempre, bata-bata ako pa. <laughs> Ganun din. When it comes to my arms, kasi siyempre, I came also from a very big state. So I don't know how to lose. I don't know how to lose weight. I don't know what specifically thing to do. Lalo na siguro ang good question is dito is ano ba yung maganda mga workout? Wala akong idea eh. So ang alam ko lang in my head, ah sige para lumiit yung arms ko, maybe I should do a lot of bicep curls or para lumiit yung chan ko, baka kailangan ko na lang mag-sit up sa mag-sit up or crunches. Yun lang alam ko crunches lang. I don't even know how to do leg raises. Pero at the at the end of the day, Medyo matagal kasi yung learning yung learning curve ko when it comes to dieting kasi since wala pa ako knowledge dati. Matagal, parang hindi ko na kukuha yung results that I want. So, later realizing now that I'm in bodybuilding, if you really want to see the toned or the sculpted look, you really, you really use diet, you need the diet eh. Hindi mo siya makukuha ng just doing a lot of repetition. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's true. I've heard two tricks. Tama. Yung sa akin, Ako, same lang din eh. Tinry ko din yung daming ab. Mm-hmm. Pero yung alam ko yung parang batang 90s ka, tapos lumalaki ka sa mga <laughs> mostly, sa mga martial artist na ano, tapos, oh, train, 100 po siya, so 100 ah. si Tosu. Parang nga, kasi yung sinin, oh, ganito yung katawan na magiging <laughs> katulad sa akin. So, ayun yun yung sa akin. Ano naman nangyari, Coach Linus? Wala. 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 Wala ba sa ano dahil yung pagkain ko? Hindi ba ganyan? Pinakamakuha mo na doon is yung muscle strength and muscle endurance. Mm-hmm. I think it's more uh, of that. If, mm-hmm. if you work out a lot, mas yun yung ma-achieve mo than actually just losing a specific body fat. Mm-hmm. Like the specific, specific part. Mm-hmm. Oh, parang more of performance, hindi siya aesthetic. Yeah, more of performance siya. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Okay, may questions ba tayo dito? May question yata si Ms. Karen. Experience niya. Na, yung experience niya regarding uh, spot reduction. Meron ka ba ko Chana experience on this one? Ako same din sa inyo eh. Siyempre gusto natin magka-abs. So, dati eh. 100 per day, tinatry ko. <laughs> ha, pero... Wala pa siya hanggang ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> nako, nako, booking na ba to? Si Coach Linus, nako na mag-booking eh. Sabi niya, batang na daw eh. Lumabas sa isa. Huwag gano'n nga si... Kayo lang mag ako sa pagkat siya. Anyway. Oh, ah... Uh, Meron tayong question, pero i-hold natin. I-hold muna natin un- until okay. we finish the, mm-hmm. the spot. Okay, so any more points? Meron pa ba tayong points isi-share regarding spot reduction? Aside from the ones mentioned above, like yung diet then contributes. Mm-hmm. In, right. If you lose uh, fat overall, then you would definitely siguro, lose fat on a certain spot. Uh, siguro yung next natin na i-discuss, parang kung nagkaroon ka ng weight loss, saan nga ba nawawala yung weight? Or um, ano ba yung unang nawawala ng fat? Okay. May mga nakita ba tayo dyan? 
Ako, I think, nabanggit ko na siya kanina, di ba, na parang based on the two research na nabasa na ko and yung iba pa din mm. research, papansin ko nga na madami, the abdominal area na babawasan mm-hmm. mo. Significant nawawala doon. Like, di ba, yung young ten years and then the ones that did leg press. Di ba, the ones that did leg press, it's parang weird kasi legs nga, pero abdominal area nawala din, di ba? So, how about you guys? Mm-hmm. Meron ba on this one? Uh, the specific sites? Yung sa akin, parang ang uh, sinabi, this is under uh, K. Katz din and Mock Ardell. So, sabi is, um, of course, syempre, yung isang factor is yung diet. So, dapat nag exercise ka or may caloric restriction ka. So, yung energy balance mo, na-discuss natin sa nung first natin na uh, stream is dapat negative. And mm. yung usually then based from the studies, yung uh, unang nababawasan ng fat ay yung upper areas daw and yung sa may abdominal area. And meron ding difference between men and women. So unfortunately, tayo mga babae, mas mahina yung adaptation natin sa fat loss compared sa men. So, bakit daw ganito? Kasi daw yung men, mas distributed yung fat nila sa ab- Dominals and upper. E eh, di ba doon yung uh, mas mabilis na mag-burn ng fat or mas mabilis ma-utilize yung fat tissues for energy kaya mas nabur-burn from the abdominal and the upper. So unlike the men, sila doon distributed yung fat nila. Uh, women, I think more on sa legs tayo eh, or sa puwet. So the yung total, hip, total the fat mass. Uh, total fat mass, mas malaki to talaga yung parang adaptation sa mga lalaki. And second daw, in general, ang mga lalaki, mas mataas yung um, energy expenditure compared sa energy, uh, sa caloric input nila or sa kinakain nila. And like daw sa women, in general, in general daw, mas mababa yung ano natin, um, activity pattern or mas mababa yung kumbaga energy output natin. So yun, dalawa, gender differences ng fat distribution, saka yung physical activity. Yes. Kayo, coaches? Sa akin ba, ano, yung, ano ba ito, yung question is, paano, uh, ano yung, I think sa, ano yung mauuna sa atin na mag-lose ng fat mo? I oh. think isang factor is oh, oh. combination siya ng yung genetics mo. Tapos ang ganda yung na-mention oh. niyo na study okay, kanina okay. yung ano, na-mention niyo sa mga tennis players. Kasi pwedeng isa rin is environmental or lifestyle factors. Uh, yun nga, katulad nga nun. Siyempre yung tennis player, ito yung madalas nilang gawin. So yun yung mas natitrain sa kanila para agit. Pero pagdating sa genetics naman, I think, Uh, even sa atin sa mga lalaki o sa mga babae, pwede siyang magkaiba-iba. And siguro ako question ko sa inyo, coach, sa inyo, napapansin nyo, ano yung uh, mas nauuna sa inyo pag kanwari na galo rin yung visit kayo, nagtatry kayo mag-lose ng weight. Uh, napapansin nyo ba? <laughs> ano? or, kung, or, or opposite kung sa inyo, una mas nasustory yung pad sa inyo. Hmm. Ako na napapansin <laughs> So... I don't know with you guys. I love handles. At least for guys, parang when I eat a lot, dito, dito mas lumalaki agad. And then, ito rin yung last na nabuburn. Or last na lumiliit. Ako naman, hey, siguro yung share ko din, uh, nung nag-practice ako, similar din kay Coach Adjo, yung parang, yung last two pack dun sa abs, sa lower, lower abdomen. Lower, na uh, uh, ayaw niyang Parang kailangan super lean eh, bago kumatanggal yung lower. And if I may add din dun sa study, uh, kamukha na sinabi ni, ni Coach Hana na parang sa upper body daw, para mas nawala ng fat and sa abdominal area. Uh, I've read this study, hindi ko na lang mahanap yung link eh. Pero ang nangyari is they bulk up, parang nag-measure sila, they bulk up, tapos they dieted down. Kasi napansin nila, mas mabilis bumalik 
sa original levels ng fat, yung upper body, compared sa lower body. So in a way, parang similar din sa nakita ni Coach Hannah, ang um, bilis, mas mabilis mag back to normal si upper body. Si lower body takes a little bit longer para uh, ma-lose yung fat. Pero siguro when it comes to ano din, kamukha ng tanong ni Coach Linus, eh, medyo genetic din kasi kung saan yung predisposition mo. Kaya nga you, you see people na parang ang payat nila pero they have yung nga sinasabing thick down na booty. And then you also see men na parang they don't have that much muscle sa arms pero they have big arms kasi yung fat deposits doon uh, mas madami. So I've seen yung ganun na parang iba-iba kasi din ang deposition natin ng fat. So, siguro that's something to think about. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pero guys, sa sinabi ko about sa fat distribution na mas mag- maganda yung adaptation ng men, parang sinabi din dito ni, ng authors na kailangan pa rin ng further research about it. Pero for now, yun yung nakita nila na possible explanation. Uh, okay. Siguro uh, another, ito, ito para idagdag natin pampagulo. Pampagulo lang. Pampagulo to, total lagi na ba ako mag-ulo. So, guluhin natin yung topic natin. So, meron daw nakita sa study, guys. Sabi meron daw spot in the show. I think nakita din to ni okay. Linus. Eh. This is in 2017. 2017 study. So, ang um, 16 physically inactive women, yun ang ginamit nila. And then, in two groups to, one group did, okay, so medyo magulo to, upper body resistance or nag-weight sila, plus lower body, okay, uh, one group, upper body resistance training, okay, and then followed by cycling na cardio or lower body cardio. Okay, and then group B naman, they did lower body resistance followed by upper body cardio. So parang ganun yung nangyari. And ang nakita nila, those who did upper body resistance training lost more fat mass sa upper body. Those that did lower body resistance training lost more lower body fat mass din. Okay, regardless of the cardio. So what do you say about this guy? <clears throat> Parang panggulo talaga, no? Meron ba kayo insight? Dito? Meron pa kasi, uh, isa pang panggulo. This is a 2013 study naman. They did three sets of 7RM pearls and three sets of 7RM tricep extensions. This is for six weeks uh-huh. lang naman. And the results indicated na specific area of the arm will result in a reduction daw. So, yun yung sinasabi. Take on this one. Uh, let's start with the, the one discussed already. Sabi nga ni Coach Hana, uh, yung upper body and lower body, mas malaki yung reduction ng fat mass sa upper body when they did upper body resistance training. Okay. However, however, uh, nakita din natin na nabawasan din naman yung ibang parts. So it's not solely in the upper body. Plus, medyo, hindi kasi siya, hindi kasi siya specific eh. May, may cardio na, tapos may resistance pa. It's not like they did resistance only, or cardio only, or upper only, and then lower only. Parang it's mixed. Kaya nga parang it's hard to add with your anything. So siguro, Pero this is, this is, in a way, parang something, di ba? For, for upper and lower body resistance. And for the six weeks naman uh, na arm work, uh, abstract lang kasi yun nandito eh. I think it's yung original. Mm-hmm. How about you guys? Uh, any thoughts and insights on this one? Sa akin siguro muna. Uh... Ito maganda na tutunan ko sa score natin sa UP and especially sa mga prof kasi uh, may mga subjects or may mga prof na diniscuss nila yung pan pa titingin sa research, sa isang research, kung paano mo gagamitin ng critical thinking. 
kasi lalo na tayo madalas for the past few weeks nagsishare tayo or nagbabati tayo ng mga nababasa natin research so baka yung mga nakikinig din magsa-start sila mag-google ganyan so uh, titingnan natin eh, ang ganda nung naging umpisa ng discussion natin kasi uh, ang dami nating nabigay eh, na mga studies from 1980s pa papunta ngayon na uh, nagsasabi na yun na tinignan nila yung uh, spot reduction or uh, targeted fat loss and then um, ang lalaki ng mga samples nila tapos ang katagal ng mga studies like ilang weeks, may six weeks, ganyan. And yet, wala silang nakita na significant uh, difference or na natatarget mga pwede kang mag-spot reduction. So, ngayon na merong isa na, ano, na, na I study 2017, tsaka may isa pa pala ngayon ng Jesse Coach Len 2030. Doon natin na uh, na, kasi so far, sa ngayon, ilan pa lang ito, baka dalawa pa lang sa sobrang dami na ng mga previous research. Plus, yung research kasi is, Um, sa women lang siya. So, yung mga na-mention natin before, uh, yung sample size niya malaki, tas both men and women pa. Tapos may mga iba pa, uh, untrained, saka trained. So, hindi pa natin masabi sa ngayon na pwede na siyang, ito yung sagot na, oh, pwede pala talaga eh, or pwede na niyang i-contradict yung mga previous resources na na-mention natin, or yung body of, ano, of knowledge na na-mention before or mga nagawa na na-available. Pero, who knows, one day, kung marami pang magre-research pagdating dito, and, ano, baka, baka, ano, kaya naman yung ata yung science, eh, na uh, maybe ito yung, ano, for now, pero by research, may makikita ang improvement, or ito pala talaga yung mas better, yan, yan. Uh, ano. So, I think yun yung isa sa mga kung paano natin ang ganitong studies. Hmm. Anyone else? Yes, agree with Coach Linus. <laughs> 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 Ako naman, parang same din. Tama yung sinasabi ka ni Coach Linus. Eh. Kaya, kaya ko din siya pinato. Para nga, for, for people to realize, there might be some studies out there na medyo makakiba ang results, but it doesn't mean automatic na you follow the study na aga. Siyempre, we... Hindi naman we rely on yung mas marami. Pero eventually, if things change, di ba, this might uh, prove to be something worthwhile na i-apply in a practical sense. Di ba? And when it comes to this one kasi, I would agree, uh, not, not I would agree, I found a website to say, uh, again, we're not part of this website, guys. So our viewers and listeners, we're not part of the website. Uh, it's just that And to my point specifically, so parang this is Menno Henselman. Menno Henselman. So, uh, medyo science-based din siya. He uses uh, articles din, scientific journals and articles. Okay. Not magazine articles, but scientific literature. So, ang sinasabi niya dito, uh, uh, I would agree on the practical part. Kasi parang sabi niya, these two studies, what they did was they did resistance training. Diba? So, bumuhat sila. Bumuhat sila ng weights. And usually, when it comes to our clients, ano sinasabi nila why they want spot reduction? Gusto nila lumiit ang chan or gusto nila lumiit ang arms. But, this is studies, resistance training and not cardio save the most fat. So, paano lilipit yung arms? Eh, madadagdagan din ng muscle. So, syempre, it is debatable how much muscle will you build and how much fat you will lose. Pero however, hindi siya linear lang. Na linear, sure tayo, liliit yan, diretso. Kasi you're building muscle and then you're losing fat. Parang ganun na nangyayari on the area on these two studies. Parang ang sabi ni Mano Henselman, it might be counterproductive, similar with the ab workouts, di ba? Na parang you want thinner na abs but you're developing more of yung muscles mo sa midsection. So, it's actually thickening and not, in, in terms of muscle, ah, kaya nga debatable siya how much fat ba, di ba? Mas madami bang fat ang nawawala compared to the thickness na nabibuild up mo when it comes to this study, di ba? And ito uh, naman, this is my point. If we focus on resistance training to burn more fat in a certain area, 
which is sinasabi ng dalawang studies 2013-2017, then we might create imbalances by working so much on, let's say, arms. Diba? We want a uh, thinner biceps. So biceps lang tayo ng biceps. Ayaw natin mag-triceps kasi sa tingin natin, kayat na yung triceps, di ba? That could be another thing that might be worth considering, di ba? Let's say, medyo mataba yung back ko. So puro, Tama. hindi ako magbe-bench. You might create imbalances between back and your front muscles mo, di ba? So that's something that you might want to consider when it comes to, di ba? So we have a parang how about you guys? Uh, other things na gusto natin i-consider when it comes to this one? So ako din eh, same yung uh, parang paniniwala ko. Pag may nagtatanong sa akin, parang paano ba lumit yung ganito? Uh, usually na-explain ko yung mga na-explain natin kanina, yung spot reduction. Plus, in-encourage ko na mag-full body workout para hindi lang isang body part ng katawan yung um, na-exercise. Kasi maraming benefits din naman pag you exercise your other body parts. So, one na yung sinabi ni Coach John na mapiprevent mo yung imbalances. Ayan. Yeah. Kayo, Coach. Ako, John. siguro, ano, um, expect na lang nila na hindi agad makukuha nila yung results that they want. Kasi, syempre, lalo na if they're a beginner, they, they haven't reached that certain goal yet. So, hindi na sure kung ano yung magiging outcome if they really work hard on a specific body part. Kaya, siguro, i- Tanggapin na lang muna natin na you just have to do it first, siguro. Sa mga beginners dyan na gusto talaga ma-target, kung yun talaga gusto nyo ma-target, um, just try to work out first and then let's see yung result kung ano yung magiging kalalabasan if you do work out nga. So, ganun na lang siguro muna. Siguro, kamukha nga na, I think na-emphasize to ng bawat coach and last time ata si Coach Anjo binalik nito, caloric deficit, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi is, uh, malaki kasi yung contribution nito when it comes to fat loss compared to just doing bicep curls non-stop. If ever, if ever it's it's working, diba? syempre hindi pa tayo sure if spot reduction works, pero if ever it's working, uh, sabi nga, most of the studies na nagkaroon ng spot reduction na ganyan also lost fat in other areas. So in a way, they're doing caloric deficits then. Uh, their, their diets are monitored. Kaya nga, Siyempre, let's focus on, siguro if you're a beginner, focus more on what gives you the most benefit, di ba? Uh, in terms of caloric deficit, di ba? So, start with those things first. Eventually, if you know, mag-iba nga ang flow ng science natin, there might be something in there. Pero right now, mm-hmm. di ba? Widely accepted, uh, myth pa rin si spot reduction. As of the moment. Spot reduction. So, nagbabagang balita. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, any more points? Wala na ba? Let's start with Q&A. Yes, okay. Okay. First question. Uh, first pa lang naman. Wala pa iba na tatanong. So, guys, we're open for questions. So, post nyo lang. Uh, remember, we can only see comments within the uh, collective oh, kinetic yeah. space. Okay. So, don't forget to watch dito and then post your comments. Okay. So, first question. Okay. Miss Karen. Thoughts in using weight trainer while working out. Nakakatulong ba yun? Sino ba nakagat nakatry na niyan? Ito yung mga sinukot mo, di ba? Para, para ma-form lalo eh. Tama ba? Para Wait. mas-scout. Para sa yes. first step, ba? Parang gano'n. Parang iniipit. <laughs> Parang iniipit. Ano ba may tsura na yun? Ginugugal ko muna. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yung kulay blue. Usually kulay ah, blue siya. Oh, yung color blue. Mm. Halatang ginamit eh, no? <laughs> yeah, yung ginaganon. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hello, Hello, guys. What do you think about this? I haven't tried it personally. Although I know people who, who do it. And... Uh, I want to eh, parang for some, for them it's working eh, parang feeling nila it's really sculpting them their ano eh, their bodies eh. Kayo guys, what do you think about it? Hmm, siguro ako ah, uh, mukang na booking na kasi. Ginamit mo siya for. Ay sige, okay, coach Hana. Coach. Nego <laughs> coach Zan, go, ikaw na. Uh, ako, 
Nako, mabubuking tayong gumamit tayo niyan. So in the yesterday years again. So ginamit ko ginamit ko din to. Ah, uh, tapos ano ba? Hindi Siguro kasi I'm not I'm not doing yung diet. I'm not checking on yung diet ko din. So remember guys, ganun din. Pagka nag-store ka din ng fat, whatever pampapayat yung ginagawa niyan or pampa thin or pampa curves niyan. If you build more fat or you have more fat deposits doon because of over calories, then lalaki at lalaki pa rin siya. Sa akin, uh, it didn't work. And siguro when it comes to the science, hindi na super science part. Pero I remember guys, di ba, when we squat, when we squat heavy, we usually use belts. Di ba, yung para, kasi the lower back cannot support the weight, di ba? Parang gano'n. Na, nabanggit yan ni Sir Wisdom. Sir Wisdom, hi again sa weight training. Okay, so pasipsip tayo dyan. <laughs> okay, gano'n. <laughs> Uh, sabi nga na yung lower back, usually, yun yung nag, nag-give in agad. Kaya yun yung difference. Okay. However, sa akin kasi, if you, simply, you don't use belts agad. Kasi when you're using belts, then, what happens is it provides support agad. But pretty much support. And uh, based on studies, squats din kasi would improve the abdominal area. So ako, what I did before was try to squat without belts muna. Kasi I've seen a lot din naman squatting without belts to improve their abdominal Okay. Pero eventually, when hindi ko na talaga kaya, I felt na the, the lower back is giving in, then I tried using belts na. Same thing with waist trainers. If you keep on using them, you might, ha, you might, you might be creating premature support for the abdominal area. So, in terms of development, in ter- oh, holding your posture, diba? That could be something that you might want to look into kasi meron kang ang support just to hold your posture. And based on studies then, isometric contractions of yung holding your posture, di ba, uh, activates the abdominal or the core area din. So in terms of ano, syempre mainit din yan. So water weight uh, sa skin, di ba, yung trapped water, that could be something na naaalis din kaya umiimpes. Pero in terms of yung pagpapayag talaga niya, I personally haven't seen the results. Uh, again, malakas ako kumain during the time na ginamit ko yan. But for you guys, uh, kayo coaches, nakita niyo ba yung results when you use this, if ever you have used this? Um, well, para sa ano eh, para sa corset in a, in a training concept. So, yung corset kasi diba, it makes your, it sculpts your body like parang like hourglass. I don't know if because of the bones, parang nasanay ba? Ganun ba yung corset? Ganun ba yung corset? Kapag, kapag yes, lagi yes. suot, yung bones mo parang nade-deform siya in a way. So, I'm not sure if that applies with the waist trainer kasi hindi naman masikip na sobra yung waist trainer. Mm-hmm. Pero, pero inisip ko eh, what if meron bang psychological effect yan? Like, do you, do you feel na you are more I don't know. Kapag gaganahan ka ba mag-workout if you're wearing that? I don't know. Hindi <laughs> ko kasi, hindi ko pa na-try eh. May ganun effect ba siya na feeling ko kapag nagsuot ako nito, mas papayat ako so gaganahan ako mag-workout. I don't know. I don't know if there's a, like, a correlation between that. Kapag <laughs> <laughs> nang tanggal pa lang, coach, dahil, dahil masyado siya naipit. Hey, wow, ganda. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, pumalik, pumalik na ba? Mati mo Okay. So, uh, ma- magandang point din yun, di ba? Baka nga may psychological effect. Pero kasi when I use it, parang it limits my movement. Para, uh, it limits my movement, may mga ganun stuff. So, siguro, it depends. But it, it, it makes you sweat. It makes you sweat kasi mainit. Mainit siya sa mainit talaga siya. However, uh, uh, na-discuss naman ka na parang yung sweat kasi it's not it's not uh, yung fat leaving the body. It's not yeah. the body. It's, it's, it's a cooling system for your body. So, again, guys, uh, pag nag-sweat kayo, there are temperature changes, pero hindi siya definitely direct, ano. Yeah. So, oh, ito, uh, I think uh, Raul Resurrection. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> yeah. 
the question, do more planting is better than ab crunches? Ah, okay. Sige. Maganda question niyan. Maganda question Maganda question niyan. Sige, kayo, may thoughts ba kayo dyan? Ako, oh, sige, ako, I can give my insight on this. Planking kasi, when you do the plank, it's like an overall core exercise as compared to ab crunch, so you're focusing on the upper upper part of the abs. So, for me, if, if you like a more holistic, uh, like holistic strengthening of your core, planking is better for me than just ab crunch. Because ab crunch is Mas lumalakas lang upper part of the core. That's my insight on that. Coach Lai. I think same kay Coach Anzo. Plus, pag kasi, di ba, natitumindi natin, pag titingnan mo yung exercise, tingnan mo kung saan mo siya gagamitin yun din eh. Like, kung balik lang din ulit tayo kung targeted. Or for our abs, uh, I think ang um, better na ma-communicate natin. Parang doon sa waist trainer din ang gusto ko yung mention sana kanina is uh, focus more dun sa pag-create pa rin ng calorie deficit. If we want a yung a good abs or yung curves sa uh, abs lumabas, can, uh, calorie deficit and start building muscle para uh, tataas din may increase yung BMR mo or basal metabolic rate mo. And then work on dun sa muscles na uh, mag, mag-highlight talaga para mag-improve yung muscle. I think mas ano dito si Coach Anzo, na nalo si Coach Anzo naman yung um, bodybuilding contest. So, I think by the way, yung may seratus, yung ayun. So, para yeah, magiging right. ano talaga. So, ayun. I think that's the more more ng focus pagdating sa, ano, sa curve or yung ano, aesthetic, aesthetic yeah. look. So, 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 aesthetic, yeah. I agree on that, yeah. Ako naman, uh, science-based ulit. Paguluhin ulit natin. Pero uh, maganda yung point na uh, both coaches. And it's science-based din kasi. Para I've read, uh, hindi ko alam kung ba't ko siya binasa. Okay, am I a nerd for reading this stuff? Pero uh, isometric contractions now, uh, usually, tama yung sabi ni Coach Ando, recruit more of the core compared to a single part or single uh, parang uh, contributor lang ng muscle, di ba? Ito, buong core, ibig sabihin, itong part mo, kasama na din yung lower back area or closer to the lower back area. So, isometric contractions daw would recruit more of the core. And another thing to consider is, ano ba ang purpose ng muscle kasi natin? Di ba? Ano bang purpose nitong core muscle natin? And hindi lang naman pang crunch ang core muscle natin. Kasi it's also, the purpose also of this one is to hold yung posture mo. Especially on heavy movements. When, when you're loading sa upper body and you're doing lower leg work or you're loading the lower leg and then you're doing upper body work. Kasi it serves as a connection between the two parts. Kaya nga when the load is there, uh, yung, yung mismo posture mo, just to be able to hold the posture uh, during the movement, recruit more abs compared to planking. I think the study is around 80% more ata or something. And they compared it to side planks and both of all uh, isometric hold. So I supermans pala, bosu ball supermans. So pag bosu ball supermans, imbalance pa yan. Diba? Pero yun nga, nakita nga na postural uh, things now would really help uh, activate the core more. Okay, so parang ganun yan. But syempre, hindi din natin, we don't count upon the ab crunches if you're trying, uh, you're a bit more advanced, trying to develop a certain part of your process. Yeah. Okay. 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 Planting is better, maybe squats then. Okay. If you can do it properly, yes. diba? if you can do compound movement, it will help guys. Squat, bench, and deadlift, it has shown to recruit the core as well. What kind of uh, okay na connection. What's your insight on this one? Hello, ayan, mens okay na. Nailing niya ba ako? Yes, yes. And okay, sige. So for me naman, pag kung ano yung mas better kung um, plank or uh, crunch test for the abs. Well, siguro isang pwede na 
interesting question. I don't know if nasabi niyo na kanina kung ano yung function mo, uh, ano yung, uh, kumbaga, para saan yung exercise or ano ba yung main function mo na ginagawa na ano yung makakatulong. Parang in terms of uh, biomechanics, kumbaga, kung siguro kung sa mga boxers, mas functional sa kanila yung crunches kasi they, yung usually yung movement nila naka-flex, naka-flex yung uh, core. And then, uh, for us, siguro na, kunwari ako, I'm doing weightlifting, uh, mas plank yung kailangan ko since mas ki- ang function ng core ko is more on for stability. So, yun yung mas kailangan ko. And usually then, for my clients, for beginners, mahirap kasi ma-feel yung core kung sa crunches minsan sumasakit yung yung neck, ne- yes. uh, leg. So, no, pinapastart right, ko rin talaga ng plank. And, uh, uh, pinapastart ko rin talaga ng plank para ma-feel niya muna yung muscle support or pwede yung dead bugs. Yun, para ma-feel din. And then, slow and controlled movement. And then, kung gusto talaga magka mag crunches or mag-build ng core, um, pwede na mag-proceed sa core work. Ah, sa crunches, basta alam paano i-activate yung core muscles. Oh, that's a very good point, ah. Totoo yun. Maraming ang beginners, even though if you say na activate your core, they don't know how to do it. Mm-hmm. They don't know how to. Parang, paano yun? Di ko ma-imagine i-activate yung core. Ano feeling mm-hmm. yun? So, tama. Tama kayo, Coach Hannah. Tama ka doon na Okay nga din yung plank. At least when you do the plank, siguro mas madali nila mafe-feel na, ah, okay, patitigasin ko pala to pag ginawa ko to. As compared to crunches na nakakompensate ng leeg, nakakompensate ng ibang body parts. Just, just to do that oh. movement. And, And siguro, uh, to add up din, for the general population, ano bang purpose ng core? Uh, usually kasi the purpose of your core would be postural. Kasi... Remember, uh, sinasabi nga ng doctors, when you pick up objects, ayaw mo kumuba. Gusto mo lagi, you bend your knees, you bend yung ano, you protect your lower back mo. Kaya nga, you don't usually do a lot of front movements in general or if you if you follow your advice ng doctors, di ba? So, uh, most of the time, your your core is used for uh, postural, di ba? Kaya nga, planking could be something na you might consider when it comes for the general population. Yeah. It yeah. brings yeah. to it properly, right? They're not hurting their lower back. Okay, next question. Grade it though, guys. It's from <laughs> our... <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you do this schedule in the weight training on the same day, so you prefer for doing first. Ah, okay. Hello. Okay. Ako, pwede ka mag sumad na? Uh, okay. Um, personally, gusto ko cardio. Go. If you want to, do, if you really want to do cardio, nang kasabay ng weight training, uh, I guess cardio is a good form of uh, really warming up your body. Lalo na, let's say jumping jacks or skip rope, jump rope, cardio na rin yan. So it's a parang like personally, I feel much energized if I do a cardio workout before the actual training, like a weight training session. Dahil it really makes my body heated up and talaga ready for the main work, before the main workload. So yun. But but for me, I think uh, if if pagsasama mo siya in one training session, I think you need to ano at least uh, replenish your. It lalo na matagal yung cardio natin ah, like 30 minutes yung cardio more or more. Siguro kumain ka muna ng quick snack like a like a chocolate bar, you know, para meron kang extra energy to do weightlifting. Kasi pag nag-cardio ka na agad, mauubusan ka na kagad ng energy mo slightly. Lalo na kung intense cardio ka. So, yun. That's my take on it. Sana na tama yung sagot ko. Baka, great, baka iba yung ini-service na yung score ko. <laughs> baka mawin yun yan. Next, next, guys. Next. 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 Ako naman, kung by preference, depende pa rin kasi talaga sa kung ano yung uh, goal oh, ko for okay. my workout on that day. Plus, kunwari yung na-mention kasi ni Coach Anso, yung warm-up. So, yung dati kasi kung saan ako mag-weight training, medyo maglalakad pa ako ng malayo. Uh, so, parang 
siguro mga 10 minutes walk yung mga ano ko. So parang yun na yung ano ko, yun na yung isa sa mga warm up and then counting uh, body weight movement nung gagawin ko for weight training. Kasi ang purpose ko naman, ako for me, kanwari, yung ano ko naman is to build strength siguro. Tapos, doon ko na, tsaka ako naiupuli na lang yung cardio. Kasi baka pag, pag nag-cardio ako, yung main goal ko for that day to to build strength, na muscular strength, eh, makompromise pag nasobrahan ako ng uh, cardio training. Kung yun yung start ko. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. Siguro ako, ayan, siguro ako, um, kung pagpipilian talaga, paghihiwalayin ko din yung session ng cardio uh, yeah, sa right. weight training session ko. Kasi, yun nga, um, uh, kung, kung yung goal ko sa cardio, hindi warm up, kunwari goal ko is medyo moderate intensity, ganyan, so ko talagang i-add yung cardio sa program ko. For me, ipaghihiwalay ko siya dun sa weight training session para fresh yung workout ko if in terms sa, or yung muscles ko pagdating sa weight training. Uh, and then, mas okay din yung performance. And then, the next if day, same, siguro, tsaka ako magka-cart yun. If same day daw, sabi. Ayun, nakalagay. If daw, same day, no same choice. <laughs> Ah, pag no choice ka. Ah, sige, ayan. No, no intensity ka, warm-up. Ayan, same. Ayun. Okay, coach ganun. line. No, no intensity, ayan. tapos warm-up siya. Hmm. Okay. Ako naman, guys. Uh, cardio ko kasi bench, eh. Yan yung cardio ko. <laughs> hindi, joke lang, wala. Hindi. Uh, resistance training yan, weight training yan, bench press. Baka yung sabihin nyo, sabi ni coach dyan, bench daw, cardio. <laughs> Okay, so joke lang yan. Pero when it comes to cardio and weight training, uh, siguro sa akin, uh, kamukha nung kay Coach Linus na, it, de- it depends on the goal. Siyempre, if let's say today would be not focus on weight training, di ba? Talaga focus mo cardio kasi no choice ka pero gusto mo mag weight training. So pwede mo si pwede mo gamitin si cardio pag uri mo na sarili mo si cardio. Kasi if you do intense cardio sa simula, it might affect din yung weight training sessions mo. Kasi yeah, usually mo na natin cardio. Sabi nga ni Coach yeah. Anjo, elliptical, uh, uh, treadmill, jump, jump ropes, usually you use yung legs kasi kaya nga if you intense ka eh baka mapagod sobra yung legs mo tapos when you do your squat session it might hurt yung squat session mo diba? or so ganun ganun din kamo ka din kay coach Hana if i could do it on a separate day or maybe on a separate phase or separate week kasi remember guys uh, i read on this one and based on experience na din Uh, resistance training could hold your cardiovascular endurance. Uh, if you have good yeah. cardiovascular endurance and you keep on weight training, it could hold whatever cardiovascular endurance you have. Assuming all things uh, parehas. Uh, assuming all mm. things parehas. Kaya nga ako usually uh, on deloads, di ba, when hindi ko focus talaga ang pag-up ng weight, I could do or insert cardio sessions. Or maybe I could do weeks, uh, one week for cardio, yung mga ganyan. Para hindi ano. Kasi uh, I've also read on this one, I think uh, si Coach, uh, si Service dan din na nagsabi uh, regarding mTOR and AMPK. Uh, it's a promising study pero it's not yet as definitive. Pero there are studies kasi na pagka nag-cardio ka, it increases the AMPK rates, which turns off the mTOR. mTOR is responsible for muscle growth, while AMPK is more on the endurance. Kaya nga, if you do cardio after, it turns off down the muscle growth. I mean, this thing is not definitive, just like yung sinabi nga ni Coach Linus, hindi pa ganun pa dami yung knowledge regarding this part. But for me kasi, I'm a conservative lifter, so I don't really do cardio after my weight training sessions. I only do light cardio as a warm-up, pero sabi nga ni Sir Wisdom, zero cardio. Minsan yun, zero cardio na din. Uh, daliri lang. Text, text. <laughs> the warm-up, I, I do warm-ups. Sa, at yung, the last one. City and, 
Yung mga ganyan, mobility work and specific warm-ups uh, and shaping set and yung mga ginagawa compared to, just, to cardio. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Wait, taas natin yung comment and service dam. Wala daw bumagsak. Hindi ka ba kami, sir? Yes. Yeah, okay. okay. Napagunod kami ng science dun, sir. <laughs> Wala pa lang science behind it eh. Wala. Okay, so wala, wala pa tayo kung wala na tayong questions. Okay guys, siguro if meron pa kayong questions, bato lang muna. Tapos parang quick chat tayo regarding our insights and inputs on spot reduction. So siguro voting tayo. Voting on our spot reduction. Is it or hindi me? Diba? Mapanalo na ba tayo? May nanali na ba? Okay, let's start with Coach Anjo. Myth or no myth? Uh, based on research talaga, mas marami pa rin yung myths eh. Then, nagsasabi na, kumbaga, it still needs further research if gusto talaga natin ipaglaban na there's a certain truth to it. Kulang pa yung research for that. But you know what, sabi nga ni Coach Linus, uh, it's science and science can be proved with more research in the future. So what we believe now can be debunked in the future if there's enough evidence. So for me to miss. <laughs> okay, how about Coach Linus? Ayun, same na sa sinabi ni Coach Anzo. Uh, yun nga kasi sa body of uh, research na nandiyan. So for yun pa rin yung sinasabi na myth pa yung sweat reduction. So yan ko lang na if uh, gusto niya to uh, lower yung fat yun sa area na yun, talagang ano mo na, uh, create a calorie deficit para yes. uh, ano yung uh, pag-lose nyo ng weight. And then eventually, i-alili uh, it rin And then yun, start building muscle. Yun, yun lang, tuloy-tuloy yung -tuloy, start ano, working sa strength and then tuloy-tuloy progressive overload. And then yun, ma-achieve din yan. Okay. How about Coach Hana? Ay natin. Oh, anyway, uh, I think parang choppy ulit ata si Coach Hana. Okay. So anyway, ako naman, uh, myth or no myth. Again, uh, I would agree with Coach Linus and Coach Andrew on this one. Uh, kamukha nga na sabi ni Coach Linus, if hindi pa ganun kadami yung body of evidence and yung journals to support it, uh, maybe we could stay on the conservative side and follow the, ano muna. Diba? Eventually, the dami din yan, if it's really promising, and then maybe we could change up our views. Pero as of the moment, parang myth pa siya. Okay? And it's good na we, we address this this one, uh, sinabi natin sa audience natin, na, Ganun nga, we, we are throwing a lot of science articles and literature here. Pero remember guys, uh, hindi lahat uh, madami ng uh, evidence. Diba? Kaya nga kami, we stick on the mas maraming evidence. In a way, conservative. Mga conservative kami dito. Okay? So parang ganun lang. But we don't deprive you of yung mga additional knowledge na parang, oh, may groundbreaking stuff pala. Diba? Yeah. Pero as of the moment, yeah. spot reduction... Uh, still a myth. Uh, I would focus more on those that give uh, baga, bang for your buck. Bang for your buck. Calor caloric deficit. Uh, dyan ako pumayat. Okay, so it could mean something for those people. Okay, for, for our listeners. I think. How about Coach Hana? Uh, nandiyan na ba si Coach Hana ulit? Ayan. Dito na, nandito na. So, syempre, nasabi nyo na din lahat. <laughs> so, for me, spot reduction, so based on sa available resources, <laughs> myth din siya. Ayan. For now, malay natin nga, may new yeah, resources. Now, yes. I mean, keep an open mind. Kasi, syempre, science, or nag evolve siya, maraming lalabas na bagong um, scientific research. So, let's keep an open mind kung ano yung possible na mangyari in the future. Yes. Okay. Wala na ba questions? Baka kayo, Coach, if may questions kayo for our viewers or listeners, or, ah, invite muna natin while we 
ano uh, invite namin kayo to subscribe uh, subscribe eh, no para sa YouTube channel so we are uploading our episodes on YouTube hindi pa lang namin na ayos guys so as per suggestion ng aming prof meron din mga timestamp jan okay so you could click if you're looking for specific answers on specific questions okay so we'll upload this episode so hit like and subscribe okay and like our Facebook page Collective Kinetics, so nagbago na yan, but we still have our What the Fat Talks. Okay, yeah. so ito yung question natin, guys. So kayo guys, uh, questions natin sa viewers. Siguro so, nila, didn't... if may nagsabi sa kanila about spot reduction, maybe may nakuha na kayo sa amin, you don't need to be, you don't, you don't need to tell them that they're wrong. Sabihin mo na lang na you can research on them. Or you have your research done para lang sure sila. Pero least, alam niyo na sa sarili ninyo na sa ngayon myth siya and if you really want to lose weight and burn the fat you really have to be on a deficit. Yun lang. So, at least confident na kayo sa sarili niyo na hindi totoo yun. If I keep on doing ab workouts I will lose the, my belly fat. O, hindi na totoo yan guys. At least for now. <laughs> na, na-imagine ko coach Anjo Baka kasi yung mga viewers and listeners oh, natin, oh, oh, oh. makakita sila na nag-a-abs, tapos bigla nilang pigilan, oh. huwag na mag-a-abs. Kaya <laughs> mag-a-abs, hindi nakalit na. <laughs> tapos sisipin oh. tayo, no? Sabi ng collective kinetics yan. Ibigay <laughs> 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 yeah. natin, no branch college. <laughs> Ay, may tanong, may tanong tayo pa abol. Bakit daw pinalitan yung what the fat? Meron ba sasagot? Dito, or may may... Uh, we still have what the fat as our product. Okay. So, it's, it's our product. Kasi yung what the fat branding, ano, marami na siya. And mahirap na kasi mag-start ng brand na marami ka ng kaparehas. There'll be a lot of confusion with... In the future, pag lumaki na rin yung ating community. So, better yeah. na nag-change na ngayon. <laughs> so, like, I'm looking forward sa lalaking community natin, di ba? So, yun nga, uh, uh, maaga pa, uh, least, para lang to avoid that problem in the future, sinasunan na namin yung branding. But, tama si Coach uh, John, tuloy pa rin naman yung What the Fat, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of our products. So, under lang siya sa bigger, bigger umbrella, which is collective kinetics. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Um... Kasi okay, we're so planning to parang create yeah. other kinds of products na yeah. Yeah, different naman yung target. Kasi what the fat is focused on uh, weight loss. Yes. And ayun nga guys, so I think wala nang question. So thank you sa lahat na nanood. Okay, we thank reach you. I think. <laughs> mm-hmm. I hope may natutunan kayo sa amin. Okay. Ah, uh, no love advice for today. Mhm. Sa kasi Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. One, one last question for the audience, no. Uh maybe you guys can suggest what specific topic you want to listen or what you want to hear in our upcoming uh live mm-hmm. sessions like this. Para malay mo, marami rin pala marami rin pala sa inyo ang same question na 'yan, 'di ba? At Siyempre, gusto rin namin marinig yung mga gusto nyong malaman na, na, science, na science-based answers. So, ayun. Mas maganda siguro kung ganun. Feel free to uh, just message us. Again, mm-hmm. it's Collective Kinetics. Just DM us, private message lang yung question ninyo. Or maybe, if gusto nyo rin makakita ng mga live workout sessions from the coaches, that's something we can do also in the future. So, isuggest nyo lang kung ano yung mga gusto nyo makita as future content. Okay. Okay. So, Ah, Instagram pala guys. Ah, uh, we have oh, yeah. we have YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and soon baka meron tayong Spotify for podcast na. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, yes, <laughs> naman naman, nag-improve na tayo. Meron na tayong mga banner-banner here and there. <laughs> All right. Good job guys. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. For our episode of What the Fat Talks and Fitness 21. So, thank you sa lahat na nanood. Nakaka-inspire yung panunod nyo and yung questions nyo yung pag-participate nyo. Again, guys, thank you. Bye-bye! Thank you, guys! Thank you! Thank you!